start for opening our Chrome browser. You want to make, make sure to be signed in to the Gmail account that the copier is using. The search bar and type Gmail. And we can click on the first option here, sport.google.com. And this will actually give you the step-by-step -step process to setting up that password. You can click on Google account here to take you to the Google account. And then we will go to security, turn on two-step verification. Let's give me some information about it and we'll click on get started. Let's sign in. And if you don't have a device here, you can get it set up by following the following directions here. Once you see your phone there, you can click on continue. And ask for your phone number to verify via text message or phone call. We're going to choose text. And then we'll wait for the code to come in. And click next. And now it's asking if you want to turn on two step verification. We'll click on turn on. And now we have it turned on. We can go back to security. And we should now see app password here under two step verification. Click on app password. And we'll confirm your password. And then Select app, we'll click on the drop down, we'll select mail. For select device, we'll click the drop down and we'll go to other. Here we can name that. Human schemes. And then click generate. And this will be our application password. So you want to copy and highlight this and copy. You want to write this down and take a screenshot of this so you have it uh, for your records. Done. Now we have our application password, and we can open up another tab. Type in the machine's IP address. Log me as administrator. We'll go to settings registration. And under function settings, we'll go to send. And then we'll go to network settings, email IFAX settings. Now we'll scroll down, we'll click on change password. Then you can paste that Gmail application password here and go to the top and click on OK. After you click on OK, we'll go back into network settings, email iFlex settings. And we'll click on the check SMT connection button here. Just letting you know it's going to clear out the passwords. We'll click OK. And you should get connections to the server that was successful.